It's a breakfast on Plus TV Africa. Uh, we're looking at our second conversation. Now, just two weeks after the court sack, David Umahi and Eric Kalechi Igwe as governor and deputy governor of Ebonyi State, respectively. On the request of the PDP, after both men defected to the All Progressive Congress, that's the APC, in November 2020. A federal high court in Abuja declared vacant the seat of 20 lawmakers from Crossover State over their defection from the People's Democratic Party PDP to the All Progressive Congress, APC. The lawmakers, two House of Representative members and 18 Crossover State House of Assembly members, had defected alongside the state governor, Ben Ayade, uh, sometime last year. The judge ruled that the affected lawmakers cannot continue to maintain their seats after leaving the party on which platform they were elected. PDP had filed a suit praying the court to ask the lawmakers to vacate their seats since they had dumped the party that sponsored them to the assembly. Justice Taiwo Taiwo in a judgment dismissed the defense argument that the PDP, that's the plaintiff, had no locus standi as a legal right to institute the case. The judge held that it was disheartening that politicians in the country treat citizens as if they do not matter once they get into office. Now delivering the judgment, Justice Taiwo said, we cannot continue in sin and expect grace to abound. Joining us this morning is Honorable Ata Oshinke, a chairman of uh, the MBA, Calibre, and former Attorney General of Cross River State. It's good to have you join us, Barrister Tao Chinke. Thank you very much for having me. Okay. Uh, let's quickly share your thoughts. Uh, what do you make of this uh, you know, pattern and this judgment that's been delivered uh, from the High Court by Justice Taiwo Taiwo? Yeah, the judgment is the right. Uh, the question that uh, all of us have been asking is what were the members of the House of Assembly thinking? They know the law is very clear. It specified in the Constitution. If you decamp, you will lose your seat. They decamped and now the court is they should lose their seat. It, um, it's very plain. So we know that it is correct and um, we are happy that the judiciary is waiting uh, errant democratic uh, persons into line. Mm. So, so you said that the law is very specific. Any uh, section of the Constitution, uh, you know, that talks about this? Oh, there are provisions in the Constitution covering the National uh, Assembly members and then the State Houses of Assembly I think the State House of Assembly is covered by Section 109 of the Constitution, I believe. And it's very clear if you come to your house to live here, if there is no controversy about that provision in the Constitution. Uh, what, what about, you've talked about Section 109, and uh, of course you can look at Section 68 of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria as amended in 1999, that, that, that has um, given a, a room uh, or way for uh, members of these legislative houses uh, who belong to political parties to leave. Um, uh, I, I tell Chinke Esquire, I believe that if you're a politician uh, elected on a platform of a political party, you're not a slave. So the constitution allows you to leave. And it talks about uh, uh, having, let, 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 if you permit me, let's just read a few lines from uh, section 60, which has to do with the national legislature. legislature. It says that they shall mm -hmm. vacate their seat uh, if election to any of the two chambers sponsored by a political party and he or she shall later, uh, he or she later chooses to become a member of another political party before the expiration of the period for which the house was elected, provided provided that his or her membership, I put the head there myself, uh, of the latter political party is not as a result of a division in the political party of which he was previously a member or of or a major of two or more political parties. Of course, there was no major between the APC and PDP. Uh, but it can be yeah. argued by some of these lawmakers in Cross River State that there were internal wranglings and internal division in the People's Democratic Party in Cross River State, um, of which you are aware. You know the moves by the 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 um, federal federal legislators of the party and some others to you know to to make some moves in the party. It, it's well known to you. So can this be a basis yeah. to say there was an internal division in PDP Cross River State? 
Okay, okay. The internal division that uh, that point has been decided by the court previously, not with the crossover state matter. And the internal division within the party, which is recognized by the court to come under this exception, must be at the national level of the party, not at the state level. Otherwise, what will happen is that every little wrangling, every, every slight a misunderstanding between two persons that the local government at the state or uh, at any level will now become a ground for the country. That will make a, a, a child's play of the law. So when the issue came before the court, what the court decided is that the division in the party that will be recognized as a basis for a, an elected member to become would be a division that is happening at the national level of the party. Uh, it's not at the state level, not just a mixed like chemist at the state level that would justify a member of the political party the campaign. Okay, so part of the statement, I mean, in delivering that ruling, uh, you had Justice Tai was saying that we can't continue like this uh, so that Greece may abound. It feels like it's a pattern. And the pattern is the issue of uh, having, uh, you know, politicians or uh, different persons cross carpeting from different political parties or decamping, if you want mm -hmm. to say, to others. And this has been a long practice. Uh, some people are asking, how is this becoming all of a sudden, uh, you know, a major interest as we head, uh, uh, you know, close to 2023? So, but looking at that now, what, what would be, you know, how do we stop this menace? Uh, according to some statement that's been put out by, you know, the judge. Okay. Uh, the Constitution is not self-enforcing. The provisions of the Constitution are there and are clear. But the judicial system, in fact, the political system, must ensure that those provisions are enforced. So what we can do to stop uh, this menace, as you put it, it's just to make sure that whoever uh, con misconducts himself faces the consequence. That way, people will learn to be straight. That, that's the, the provisions of the Constitution will not enforce themselves. We have to bring them to life. So if there is a breach, somebody has to go to court and get the court to win the error the uh, person into life. So by looking at judicial proceedings, we expect that, you know, uh, there should be further... Uh, approaching of the court. We also still have, you know, the federal high court at this, I mean, the Supreme Court at this point in time. Uh, do you see this case getting to that point? And can we begin to preempt, you know, the actions of the Supreme Court? Yes, we anticipate that the members will go to the Court of Appeal and maybe up to the Supreme Court. It is their legal right, it's part of the judicial process. We call that the due process of law. We have no problem with that. Let that take place. Um, they are also entitled to have their own side of the story held. So we, we expect that. But at the end of the day, we hope that uh, justice, and uh, not just for them, but so that uh, subsequent people will understand that you will not take the mandate of one party and cross over to another party. Uh, interestingly, this morning, it looks like uh, the State House of Assembly has been cordoned off, uh, preventing members from uh, attending to their business. That is a developing story. We don't know how that is going to emerge. All right. Uh, well, we, see, we see something similar uh, uh, at our Chinke playing out in... Um in Ebo in State, which is neighboring to Cross River State, where uh, the People's Democratic Party has presented two names uh, to replace the governor and the deputy governor of the state, uh, um, Kelechi Gweb, deputy governor, and uh, David Mahi, the governor of Ebo in State. Um, the Independent National Electoral Commission seems to be dragging foot on this, and the party has told uh, INEC to yesterday, they said that INEC should, without the further delay, immediately hand certificates of return to these. Um, uh, uh, individuals, these two gentlemen. Uh, what do we expect to have in the happening Cross River State going forward? Um, and uh, is it that once the case is taken to appeal, 
there is a stay because you know that yesterday, um, following the application for uh, a, a stay of execution um, in the Federal High Court in Abuja, presided over by uh, Milord, the Honorable Justice in Ayako, um, the, the uh, lawyer presenting David Umayi and his group um, withdrew that application. Uh, there was no objection from the PDP Council. Uh, so, so does it, is it that when there is an appeal, automatically there's a stay of ex execution? It's usually um, a gray area when this, this, this kind of things come up. So please take us through that. No, an appeal does not automatically generate a stay of execution. Stay of execution must be applied for by any of the parties, and then uh, it is at the discretion of the court to grant. Once the judgment is delivered and there is no order of court for still of execution, the judgment is uh, expected to be obeyed immediately. So if um, you have you take the Boeing situation, there is a judgment removing the governor. The application for still of execution has been withdrawn and struck out. And then um, there, we have nothing stopping the INEC from issuing certificates of return to the PDP nominees as ordered by the court. Well, many thanks, uh, Atal Shinke, for being part of the show this morning. We do appreciate your time, and uh, we look forward to sharing more of your thoughts on this platform. Thank you very much. Thank you. So very important information uh, at our Chinke Esquire, former Attorney General of uh, Cross River State and uh, Chairman of the NBA Calabar branch has shared with us this morning that the uh, House of Assembly premises in Cross River State, uh, which we know quite well because it's inside a compound, you have to really go um, way inside, it's not on main road, has been cordoned off by uh, a policeman and security operators who will be bringing you more on that story as the event unfolds. Um, but it's been quite an interesting episode of uh, The Breakfast on Plus TV Africa. Well, if you missed out on any part of it, it's all right to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. We're at Plus TV Africa and Plus TV Africa Lifestyle. And do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's at Plus TV Africa Lifestyle. I am Messi Bopo. Many thanks for watching. And I'm Kofi Patel. We'll return tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Keep watching Plus TV Africa. Good morning.